In this video I'm going to make the cross heads. These are touched to the end of the piston rods. The material is aluminium bronze. So this is the material I'm going to be using for the uh, piston rods, which is ground stainless steel. And I think that is going to be just a nice slight interference fit there. So I think we'll leave it at that.
So this is the drone for the crosshead, which is twice full size. And this is how far we've got with uh, making these. So we're at the stage now where we need to put this uh, slot in. Now the width of this on the drawing is half an inch. And the depth of the slot is also half an inch. So the slot is going to come right up against this edge. Uh, which will basically go to nothing. So it actually leaves very little material in this section here which I don't think is a very good idea I know a lot of these have probably been built but all the same I don't think I like it that much I did a card model just to check it out and have a look so all the power from the uh, piston is being transferred through this thin section so I decided to modify it a little bit. So fortunately I'd uh, left these a little bit over long. Enough to make this uh, length 2mm longer. And then I'll make the slot 12.7 uh, so I've got a 2mm thickness of material left in the bottom. So that should strengthen it quite a bit. When I cut the slot I'm going to use um, um, a slitting saw type cutter and I just happen to have one which has got a radius um, so when I slot this out with that cutter we'll get a radius in the bottom of this slot so again that will help it from a point of view of uh, strength So that's a quarter inch shank milling cutter, fits in there quite nice, a little bit of clearance, I think that's good. The last operation to do is to drill this hole um, through the cross head. This takes a pin on which the connecting rod pivots. It's shown on the drawing as uh, reamed 3 16 of an inch uh, on one side and on the other side it's tapped all the way through uh, 3 16 of an inch. Uh, don't like that idea very much. Um, I'm going to modify it so that I ream it 3 16 through this side and also 3 16 halfway through this side. I think that gives a better fitting for the pin and then the remaining uh, portion that's left here I'm going to tap 4B here which is obviously smaller than 3 16 so the pin will have a shoulder Okay, that's it drilled. So we just need to tap this side 4B here. 
So I'm just going to use a, a table top. Thanks for watching, see you next time.